It starts more than two hours before sunrise at Camp Beauregard near Pineville, Louisiana. Weapons wait for Louisiana National Guard soldiers of the 139th Regional Support Group to approach. It's not an ambush, it's a survivor dash that's part of their annual training. A six-soldier group works together to push a Humvee to their last task. They're sweaty, but motivated to reach the final challenge of the survivor dash, assembling weapon systems. One weapon, first soldier, four minutes to assemble. You can't start until the other one goes. An evaluator times hundreds of teams as each of them put together three different weapons. The M9 pistol is now done, so the next Louisiana National Guard member assembles the M16 rifle. And finally, the M249 light machine gun assembly begins. We always try to work together. We're all about teamwork, and uh, we're trying to give our best effort. You know, we want to come out on top. The survivor dash also requires each six soldier team to simulate carrying the weight of a wounded soldier. This comes after teams start with 100 push-ups and 100 sit-ups. The 139th Regional Support Group includes units across the state responsible for maintenance, transportation, military intelligence, medical, communications and the military band. Over 1,900 serve in the 139th RSG that combines many talents that add value to the Louisiana National Guard's abilities. The broad range of skill sets, personalities, uh, capabilities that we all bring to the table, we're, we're definitely uh, an asset to the governor and to the president for any state or national emergency. Taking part in the Survivor Dash prepares Louisiana National Guard soldiers for future missions wherever they're called to serve. Sergeant Michael Farrar reporting for the 241st MPAD.